It was a chilly day and we started out with a bit more cloudiness than we have outside at the moment. So clearing skies through the rest of the evening and night and winds will subside a bit. Still a bit of a breeze, but I think enough that we're going to see some pretty cold temperatures overnight right now. Very pretty sunset and if you're dressed for it, not a bad afternoon. 56 degrees our current temperature dew points way down. Very dry air and wind still breezy out of the north, at least at Kenner at 10 miles an hour. Now today's high was 64. You may be thinking, well, when did we hit 64 degrees? It was just after midnight midnight and then temperatures steadily dropped all day long. 48 was our morning low and that's about where we woke up to only warming into the low and then mid 50s over the last couple of hours. So we stayed pretty cool all day long. And as I also said, we kept that high cloud in the surround as well earlier. That cloud and this is gone. A few passing clouds perhaps, but it looks like for the rest of the overnight period, clearing skies in the 50s outside right now, factoring a little bit of a breeze though out of the north. It's still pretty brisk. It does feel a little bit colder, but as I said, winds will be settling skies clear and with low humidity, we are looking at a pretty cold night tonight and a light freeze is expected on the North Shore and maybe even some areas in the river parishes, northern bayou parishes and generally this week we finally get a long Long duration of at least cooler temperatures where afternoon highs will be either near or just below average, maybe a degree above. But even that it looks like we're going to stay relatively cool over the next couple of days. Well, here's what's going on right now. Obviously, we're going to continue to see some changes clearing skies, so lots of sunshine overnight tonight, but a little developing upper level low is going to move our way as we head into late Tuesday, Wednesday. Not going to do much for us, but will likely increase our cloud cover. Maybe Maybe a stray sprinkle on Wednesday that passes on through. But if you'll notice in the upper pattern, we will generally have this northwesterly flow. What all of these little upper disturbances do is help to reinforce the cold air. So while we may see temperatures rise by a few degrees with these reinforcing upper troughs, it just keeps the colder air moving south. So it is going to be a much cooler pattern all this week and kind of contrary to what we have seen where we usually get these upper troughs to move on through and then immediately followed by a southwesterly or southerly flow. That's not going to be the case all this week. So temperatures will stay generally on the cool side and really the warmest day this week is coming up on Saturday and around 66. That's only a few degrees above average and then followed by another front as we head into Sunday and Monday. So the cool air keeps coming. And as I said, this may be our longest duration of chilly temperatures, possibly five degrees. So just kind of using a benchmark of 65 degrees or less. These are the number of days where we have seen consecutive cool days back into November. Only had a couple of days by the start of the month. Toward the end of the month, we had four days of 65 degrees or less back in early December. And then late December, we had these two and three day durations. Start of the month this month, we had a couple of days of highs and only in the 50s this week we might have at least five days of 65 degrees or less. So the only change in the next couple of days, aside from temperatures gradually getting into the low 60s, is likely to see an increase in cloud cover late on Tuesday and then for the most part Wednesday. Model trying to bring in a stray shower. It doesn't look like we're going to see much rainfall from this system. So mostly clear freeze on the North Shore as we get into the low 30s. Metro area probably only around 40 degrees for the day tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, increasing clouds late and a high of only 58 degrees, so below average below average again on Wednesday, maybe just right at or slightly above average for Thursday and Friday. But again, a very cool and mostly sunny week, especially as we get toward the end of the week, slightly milder for Saturday that another front moves through by Sunday, keeping us cool into early next week. Thank you, Chris.